Hello, so coming back to the topic of sending emails with Ruby on Rails. In this video, we are going to learn how to send outbound emails using the Amazon SAS uh, email service. But first of all, let's uh, test something. If we go to our Rails server and try to send some kind of email. For example, I will log out and try to send a forgot your password email. So I add an existing email address, send me reset password instructions, and you see I get this error, launch a command not found. Well, this is basically an issue regarding letter opener. So here we have this delivery method letter opener, and we also have raised delivery errors set to true. Basically, the whole issue is described in the letter opener documentation, and the, the easiest solution for you would be just to set the raise delivery errors to false, but not true. Then uh, the delivery method is letter opener. So we do it uh, false. And now we will restart the server. And uh, expectedly, we will not have uh, any more issues like this. OK, so I will try one scan. OK, works fine, no issue. And now back to the topic of uh, sending emails with uh, Amazon SaaS. Basically, it is an uh, email sending service like uh, SendGrid, but uh, it is easier to work with and uh, usually has less uh, problems and is often cheaper and has higher quotas. <laughs> okay, so to be able to use it, you would need to go to the Amazon uh, dashboard, to the AWS dashboard and type uh, SES, like simple email service, or another way you would just go to services and in services, you would find uh, business applications. And here there is Amazon Simple Email Service. And here we are. But of course, we need to get some kind of credentials. So I would go to SMTP settings and create my SMTP credentials. And now I need to give uh, a username for the credentials. I would say. Uh, test uh, AWS SES. Okay. And you see it says uh, that the credentials have been created successfully. I can display them. Here they are. And now I need to actually put them somewhere inside our application. Now, in a previous video, we've already implemented the uh, sending emails with uh, Google. And now we are going to do the same, but with Amazon. So I'm just going to copy this. And we'll first try to send emails with Amazon in our development environment. So I have the basic SMTP settings. I'm going to change the delivery method from letter opener to SMTP. And here we have the address. Well, we should get an address from AWS. The port is going to stay 587. The domain is not needed. And here in the username, we're going to put the username that was provided to us by Amazon. So we paste this username here or you can do it directly in your credentials. And then you take the SMTP password and you paste it here, or again, through your credentials. Okay, then authentication is plain. We can actually make it into a symbol, not a string. And this uh, would work if we also change the address. Where can we get this address? To get the address, I will close this and go back to SES, to simple email service. And here, going to SMTP credentials, we have the server name. So here's the server name. It is what we put instead of SMTP gmail.com, like this. And you see, it also says that the port can stay 587. So, We've uh, set up the mail, and now let's actually try to deliver an email. So uh, let's say I will uh, restart the server because we've done some changes in the a file under the config folder. And I will try to send a password uh, uh, forgotten email. So I put in the email and send the password. Let's see our logs. And uh, what can we say from our logs? Well, uh, from the logs, we don't have uh, much that we can say. We don't see whether the email was actually delivered. 
So we are going to go back to development and we are going to set config action mailer raise deliver errors to true. Okay. And now once again, I'm going to start the Rails server and see if we get the email delivered. So again, I'm going here, I'm going to forgot your password and send me reset password instructions. And here we get an error. So we see it here and we might also see it in the console. So here it says SMTP fatal error, email address is not verified, the following identities failed to check and so on. And basically it says that we need to verify our emails and or our domain or both an email and a domain in uh, Amazon SaaS. So you would go to email addresses and uh, verify an email address uh, that you'll be using in for sending uh, emails. So you can use any email address that you own. I will take this email address and press verify. So verification has been sent. I'll go to the email. Uh, refresh, there must be an email. And here it is. So I go here and I will confirm. Here's the link to confirm the email. Okay, it says the email is confirmed. So I'm going back here, I will refresh the page. And the email has been verified. Okay, so this email has been verified, but you see it says, uh, please change me at config initializers device. So it is the device email that uh, is prompted us that should be changed. So I'm going to set this to be the device email. If we will go to our device.rb in uh, initializers device, and here we have a default email that is used by device to send. So here it is. And here we're going to put our email and also we're going to put it in our application mailer. So we're going to go to app mailers, application mailer. And here we're going to put this email from which we're actually going to send the emails. Okay, now let's uh, restart. So I stop the server and press the Rails server once again and try to resend. And uh, it says once again, message rejected, email address is not verified. The following identities failed to check the region. So this other email address was not verified. And why is it so? Well, because we are using Amazon SaaS in a sandbox environment. So if we go to send in statistics, you will see that we are using the sandbox environment. So we can send only to verified Amazon emails. We cannot send the real emails to real users. And we would need to basically go out of the sandbox environment, or we would need to send the emails to the verified email addresses. So for example, if I send an email to the address that I have already verified to this one, then it will work. Let's uh, prove it. I will go to sign up. I will sign up with this email. Okay, it has been already taken. Then I will press forgot your password, input the email. And you see it says that the email has been actually sent. So the email has been sent without any delivery errors. Looks like it is working. Now I will refresh and well, it should say that one more email has been sent. Let me check my inbox, actually most likely the spam. So I go to spam. And I see that, uh, well, just now I have received uh, this email zero minutes ago. So it basically worked. I managed to send uh, an email to an email address that I have verified in this uh, domain. Now, to really work with it in production, you will need to move out of the sandbox into a real environment. And to do so, you would need to say that your mail type is transactional, that is the usual type, uh, website URL, you would add your real website URL, uh, just a couple of words that you are sending the emails uh, uh, for uh, 
uh, transactional causes like uh, password reset, password confirmation, and such stuff. Additional contact addresses can be just your email address, and uh, you agree, and within a few minutes, uh, it would be verified. Here is how it looks when you have uh, verified your uh, Amazon SES account. So you see it says Productional Access Enabled. I have uh, well, written uh, my main website URL. I have written a short use case description. Uh, and in domains, I've added this domain. In email addresses, I've added uh, an email address. And uh, basically, it works like this. So when you create uh, an Amazon SES uh, email account, you first should go to SMTP settings and create credentials. Then uh, you can verify a domain, verify an email address, and in sending statistics, you should uh, move the account from a sandbox environment to a productional environment. Another, in, another interesting thing, when you are testing sending emails in uh, your development, you can also send to some test email uh, accounts provided by Amazon. You don't have to verify these. They are provided by Amazon, so you can send to them without any problem. Let's try. For example, at the moment, I always send an email when a new post has been created. So now we are going to create a new post, but I will say that the post will be delivered uh, to some specific recipients. So now we have uh, this from Yaro and so on to all the users in the application, but uh, we are going to change it. This will not work now because uh, we did not uh, whitelist these emails and we are still in our sandbox. You see, I tried to send and I get all these errors. And it says that this whole list of emails is not uh, verified. So I would just, uh, let's say, send from the verified email address. I would remove CC and BCC and uh, in two, I would say uh, one of these test email accounts that uh, Amazon provides. So here I would add this to success and so on. And let's see if it works. Once again, I will try to create a post and see if the email is delivered. So I create a new post, create, and do we have any delivery errors? No, we don't. It is the hash that the email is delivered. So that's basically how you work with uh, Amazon says in the production, the quota of free emails is really, really high, uh, nothing to worry about, and uh, it's uh, really fast to set up, and uh, you control much more than, uh, than working with SendGrid. So thanks for being with me, and goodbye.